Today we want to talk about a plant called in Latin Gynostemma pentaphyllum. It's typically got five leaflets, that's pentaphyllum. Uh, the Chinese name for it is Jiao Gulan. It's a well-known uh, herb in China at present and Japan. So this is not a traditional Chinese medicine herb. It was more like a folk herb in southern China. Some Japanese researchers went down to southern China and they were actually looking for a sugar substitute. They came across this plant which has quite a bit of sweetness in it. But then it was discovered that it has a number of compounds in it very similar or identical to the compounds in ginseng. In gynostema, they're called gypenicides, and there's 82 of them. Uh, four of them are identical to ginsenicides found in ginseng. So this is a plant that has ginseng-like properties. It's an adaptogen. Helps the body adapt to stress, uh, boosts the immune system. It's very much used for anti-cancer, lowers cholesterol, uh, regulates blood pressure. It's an anti-aging herb. I want to talk more about how to grow it. You can find plenty of information on how to use it online. This is probably the easiest to grow of all the adaptogen plants. I call this the best plant to grow for your health. Reasons being that it has a lot of health benefits, plus it's very, very easy to grow, plus it's very, very easy to use. Uh, to use it, you would just dry it or you could just nibble on it fresh. All parts of it are medicinal. You don't need to dig anything up. Just harvest the above ground part, dry it and make it like you're making a cup of tea. You could mix it with green tea or black tea. I drink this every day in the morning. Uh, as far as growing it, it's kind of a weed. So this is actually in the squash family, totally unrelated to ginseng. It's a vine, an herbaceous vine, a perennial herbaceous vine, meaning it dies to the ground every year but then comes back. It can grow up to 20 feet or maybe more in a year. So here it has gotten into a brush pile. It's growing up through the brush pile and you can see it running up the side of these shrubs. Here it is. It's got tendrils like many squash family plants. The flowers and fruit are tiny. Uh, the fruit's not big, much bigger than a pea. <clears throat> in this climate, here in western North Carolina, it rarely makes fruit, which is perhaps a good thing, considering how weedy it is. But it's super easy to propagate by the roots or by division. If you plant it in the ground and leave it, it'll run along the ground and root down all the way along so you can separate that and make many more plants for yourself. If you get it to climb up something, it will nevertheless, after a few years, start to spread by the roots. So it does have some invasive potential. You want to watch out for it. Uh, it's gotten in many parts of our garden, which I'm not too unhappy about. We gather it and dry pounds of it every year. One of the most useful adaptogens there is. You could grow it as a screen, up some bamboo to screen an area. This plant has become naturalized in many parts of my garden. Not as I say by seed, but mostly by little pieces of the root getting in different places. And we can just come out here and gather almost any day. I can collect a big amount of this plant. And some more over here. growing all up through this brush pile. It's growing all on the ground here. So in just a couple of minutes, I can collect a big handful of it. You could just drape it over a clothesline or the back of a chair. It'll dry in just a day or two, crumble it up and put it away for the winter to drink every day. It has a cooling effect also. And it's used very much uh, for the prevention of cancer and also for people who are being treated for cancer. 
uh, to uh, compensate for the effects of chemotherapy or radiation therapy. It's used in China to balance that out because those therapies destroy the immune system. So this is to beef up your immune system. But you could also use it uh, as cancer prevention. It increases the killer T cells, lymphocytes, all those are boosted. A big current use for it is for racehorses. So that gives you an idea of what it's good for. So major anti-aging herb.